welcome to another Mac Apps review for you. It's been a while since I've done a video, so uh, welcome back, guys. Sorry for the delay. Had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but today, I got an awesome app for you guys, uh, kind of a reward for waiting so long uh, in between videos. Uh, today, I'm doing a review, very short review, of a application that I absolutely am in love with. Uh, this application offers a great deal of utility for people working in media. Uh, myself, I do a lot of stuff at my church, uh, and this has absolutely saved my life already a dozen times. Uh, let me explain to you what it is. Uh, down here, if you see where my mouse is, right here, it is called Smart Converter. There is the application logo right there, little video uh, play button there with a film strip behind it. Uh, this application is absolutely brilliant. Uh, there are a lot of applications like this out there for Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever system you may use. This one I have found to be the best and the cheapest, and why is it the cheapest? Let me tell you why it is the cheapest. This application is free. No dollars, no money, no commitment, no donations, just absolutely free. Now, let me tell you why this application is a lifesaver. Now, what does it do? Let me tell you what it does. It is a video converter, and you may be saying there are hundreds of these out here. Why would I want to use Smart Converter? Let me tell you why. The ease of use is why you would want to use Smart Converter. Let me show you exactly how easy this is to do. Now, I have a video down here. It is called Christmas in Reverse. This is a video I had done for my church a while back. Now, it is not going to be playable on certain devices. It's a .mov uh, file. Now, I want to change this to a different file format. So, here we go. I drug the video, took the video, dropped it right here. All right, it tells you how long it is. It'll tell you the conversion speed, the fastest. Now, I have the option to change the format to multiple different formats. I can go here and change it to Apple TV, convert it for Apple TV. I want it to be seen on iPad, convert it to iPad, iPhone, iPod, Android tablet, Android phone, music. I just want it to just the audio. And then you also have this other wonderful selection over here, other. Uh, iPod Classic, QuickTime, PSP, PlayStation 3, audio, what kind of audio you want, Google TV, whatever you may want it to be, there it is. Now, I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to go ahead and convert your file. Now, let's just say I want this to be able to be played on my iPhone. So, let's click there, convert for iPod or iPhone. Now, all I have to do is drag the video, just like I showed you, go down here, click this wonderful and easy button, convert, click convert, wait a minute, it's going to say right here, converting 0%. Now, as with anything, if it's a high-definition video, it may take a little longer. Now, this video is only a little over two minutes long, so it may take a good one to three minutes for this to convert. I do not know uh, an exact time. I did this before I started the recording, and it took about a minute and a half. Now, while this is converting here, I will tell you uh, a few more things about Smart Converter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the App Store here. Here it says right here, Smart Converter. It's already installed. Uh, and then it just pretty much tells you exactly what I have already told you. Uh, and again, the wonderful thing about this, guys, look right here. It is free. Free. Absolutely free. There is no money involved to get this application, okay? Um, and it's just such a wonderful tool. If you are an individual who sometimes has video uh, that you want to convert to audio or vice versa, and you want it to play on different devices, this is a wonderful, wonderful tool for that to be done. So, this video is running now at about four minutes, and I don't know how much longer this is going to take to convert. Uh, it's already in a high-definition video going down to the iPhone and iPod uh, format, so it may take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this recording, and I'll be right back at you, but you won't miss anything when it is done. Welcome back, guys. Sorry for the delay there. Uh, again, it is already finished. Uh, it took about two minutes, uh, a little over two minutes for that to complete there. And it says here, converted and sent to iTunes. It already does the work for you. And if you remember, I did it for the iPhone and iPod. So I can go to iTunes, find it there. Or I have this little convenient button over here that says show file. I will click that now and it will take me to an automated, automatically created folder 
as you can see here, is titled Smart Converter. That is the uh, folder that the files will automatically download to, which is brilliant and wonderful if you like to organize your files as I do. And here it is right here, this little video that I have now transposed and dropped down the quality to be able to run on full capacity on the iPhone and iPod. Now, I took it from a .mov to a .m4v, which as you know in the business, that is the file that is best used and utilized by the iPhone and iPod. So again, guys, the name of this application is smart converter here is the uh, application icon down here at the bottom it is absolutely free in the iTunes store go there now if you're interested in this send me questions comment feedback like the video uh, again I'll be back with more more videos for you guys to see uh, until next time catch you later <laughs>